<laughs> Are you the father of the girl at the clothing store? Make me some clothes. I don't make men's clothes, and I don't feel like making anything right now. Clown, you wait over there for a second. I'll try to talk to him. Why don't you come in here and have a drink or something? You know, mister. I, I like how he just turns around. He doesn't walk away, he just turns around. You always said that just once he'd like to dress up like a girl. Well, that's why I wanted a cute dress for him. What? Should have looked a guy like that. So, how about it? Will you make him one? This might be interesting. I was getting a little bored of just making regular clothes. Can you do it for us? Yeah, alright. What kind of dress you want? He had 13, and you had 20. It really simple. Okay, I'm a man of my word. Here you are. Big bro, I'm so mad. I'm so, so, so mad. Oh, God. Shut up, don't cry just because you're loud. Oh, Big Bro's fish of steel come to me. Good, splendid. Now, let's see. Which girl should I choose? This one? Or this one? Cloud's stubborn, so he doesn't want to look this guy straight in the eye, right? Because he's a guy dressed as a girl. Woohoo! I've made up my mind. My choice would stop. Fuck! I thought you had got the wrong pair of underwear. This slender little girl. Read Hank, read Hank, tra la la. MDs include our space program in the budget. Oh man! Ha ha ha! After all, we're the ones who saved Dr. Seven from Avalanche! The dirty! He is special! He's inferior to him, but he's still the process of comparing her to her mother. So, so now the difference is 18%. Why do you want to say? I guess we won't be on ours. How does it feel? It's your first time back in your hometown in a long time, right? So, how does it feel? I want to know because I don't have a hometown. Um, how about your parents? My mother, she know her. She died right after she gave birth to me. My father... <laughs> <laughs> uh, what does it matter? All right, let's go. Keep wandering around here, and you'll get in trouble. You know, watch is so boring. Just a date. It's your job, right? I'll come and talk to you once more. Just stick with it. Mango smells pretty bad here. Hey, is that you, Clem? That must have been two years. Say, you really moved up in the world. Man under Sephiroth's command. Hmm. You sure are here to get rid of the monsters? And who are you? I'm Zangan. I travel around the world teaching children martial arts. Hiya! I have 128 students all over the world. In this town, a girl named Tifa is my student. Did you say Tifa? Tifa has a good sense. She'll be a powerful fighter. Hoo-yah! 